Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. This is the last month of the year and usually it's also a time to look back on this past year and also look forward to the next year. So I realized that it's been just over a year that I received my Pinebook Pro and a lot of things have changed. The default distribution changed from Debian to Manjaro. I've installed a lot of emulators so it's possible to play retro games with the Pinebook Pro. I also bought a Chewy Gemi book where I want to install Linux and specifically Ubuntu on the M2 drive that I'm going to put in the extra slot. And I also bought the Starlight Mark III from Star Labs. So, also at the start of this year, when you wanted to install Manjaro on the Pinebook Pro, they usually released two different images. One was sort of like a live image that you could just install on a micro SD, and one other was the image where that you had to install on the micro SD to install it on the eMMC. Well, nowadays Manjaro only releases one image and they have created a script to install Manjaro on the eMMC. So I tried this and it didn't work out as I hoped. So first of all, you can download um, Manjaro from their download page. I'll put a link uh, in the description of the video. And then you can go to editions, you can go to ARM, Pinebook Pro and pick the one that you prefer. In my case I went with the KDE Plasma. And in the end you get to this page. I downloaded it and I also found this thread on the forum where it explains how to install Manjaro uh, let's just say since 20.08 on the eMMC and this one apparently is the solution I tried it but I failed and Hopefully they will fix the script, but it's not as easy as it is explained here. Well, first of all, they say there is a Manjaro ARM flasher program that you can install. So in this case, you can go to a system then add remove software and in this case I already looked up this program so but I'll, I'll do it again so let's just say you know, well, if I type A is anything coming up or not Interesting. Okay, so let's just say something else is there or nothing is there. Just, uh, yeah, so usually you just get to the uh, search here and then you can type and then hopefully in this case 
you get to the Manjaro Arm EMMC flasher. So I already installed it so I only have the option to remove it but probably in your case it says you have the option to install it here. Um, so I also recommend going to files because that's where you can see where it's actually installed. So it's in user share Manjaro ARM EMFC flasher. So in my case I already installed it and then they're also explaining that you have to um, set the execution bit so that's with this one change mod so you can just copy that one so as I said you have to look up the location so you can do a CD to that location and then you can set the execution bit Oops. Or perhaps you have to, let's see, change mod plus x. Ah, then it says operation not permitted, so you have to do it with sudo. And well, when I tried it, I got the message image not found. So I was wondering, like, why does it go wrong? So I'm using more, and then as you can see, it's using a temporary directory in var temp. And it will use the image Manjaro arm image.exe. So I already downloaded the image, and that one you can find in downloads. So that's this one. And then I copied it to var temp so far and temp and I renamed it to Manjaro dash arm dot image dot exe so now we've done all the preparations and then it says you can run it with sudo So we're still, oh, let's just get to the end of more, and we're still in that directory. So we'll paste the command. Oh, it's not really working as expected. Ah, oh, yeah, so. There's a difference in the name. Then you get a menu. And yes, I want to overwrite the EMMC, so that's yes. Okay, so it says the SD card is MMC BLK1, and that means that you're not supposed to 
pick MMC BLK1. So in this case, we go for EM, uh, sorry, MMC BLK2. And now it is flashing the image to the EMMC. And that's going reasonably fast. It's already on one gigabyte. So hopefully this doesn't take too long. So in a way, I think it's a pity that they removed the image to easily install on the EMMC. And well, apparently this version of the script, it's not very user friendly. And yeah, you have to start digging around a bit. I'm I'm actually surprised that the the thread ends with just some comments about Manjaro Cherut doesn't exist on ARM, and I'm not really sure if they messed up the script in a new version or that I'm for some strange reason running on an old version because if I look it says 2020-06-04 so if I have to guess that's the 4th of June and we're already on Manjaro 20.10 so I'm a bit surprised here so I don't know what's going on, but at least I can show you how to fix it. And I think it's almost done. 5.6. And it's done. Press any key to continue. So we'll activate the window. Flash is complete. The system will shut down so you can remove the SD card. So just to make it easier, I'm going to close everything here. That's okay, close the tabs. Going to power off. Okay, so now I can remove the micro SD card. Okay. One is removed. Go to boot again. Hopefully it will work this time. Well, we see the Manjaro logo. That's encouraging. And here it gets to the setup. So I don't think I need to bore you with setting this up. In this case, this is the Pinebook with the ISO keyboard. So um, I think you can do this on your own. So 
looking to the future I think I'll probably be spending more time with the Chewy Jedi book and also the Starlight Mark III and unfortunately what I really miss on the Pinebook Pro is proper support for hardware video decoding so I think in 2021 I will shift my focus from the Pinebook more to the Starlight Mark III unless we get better hardware video decoding on the Pinebook Pro and when we do that's probably a moment that I will put some more time in the Pinebook Pro so that's all for now and I hope to see you again in my next video